Hello there guys, my name is Kai Shadon, Stubborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to another edition of the next 5 years series where today we're going to be taking a look at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Now a massive shout out to Ryan Hackman and also to Thomas Rosie Fan 2 for suggesting this video. If you have a video to shout out and suggest for this series or any other series on the channel, then get it in the comments down below. Uh, message me on all the social medias, they're all in the description down below as well, you can follow all of them. Uh, I am getting good on Twitter now, so I want to get more followers. Um, but today we're going to look at the next five year predictions that I think um, for Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. Now, this park is not the flagship Six Flags park, but it's so, so close. It's so close to being the top park. Now. They're just behind Six Flags Magic Mountain, in my opinion. Um, you know, just above the likes of Great America and things like that. So, I think that Great Adventure are one of the top parks in the Six Flags chain. And I think that they've got a very exciting future on their hands. Uh, but, um, it'd be interesting to share my predictions and see what you guys think of my predictions. Now, uh, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. And for now, we're going to take a look at my next five predictions. But before we do that, we have to take a look back at the last decade of Six Flags Great Adventure. So, no major attractions for the 2010 season. They just removed um, their uh, multi looper coaster, their uh, Great American Scream Machine. Uh, but for 2011, they brought in a relocated Bolger and Mabillard stand-up coaster, which formally operated between 1997 and 2009 as Chang at Kentucky Kingdom. They brought that in um, to Six Flags Great Adventure on the Great American Screen Machine site, which operated between 1989 and 2010. And of course, it was rethemed from Chang to Green Lantern. Then for 2012, they brought in Fender Benders, the bumper cars attraction, a musical-themed scrambler called Deja Vu, and a Zampola Flying Jumbo's attraction called Air Jumbo, as well as the Star Flyer, the classic Six Flags attraction known as the Sky Screamer. Now for 2013, the Wild Safari, Six Flags Wild Safari, closed before then and was replaced by a Jeep Journey, combining the theme park and the safari park in Safari Off-Road Adventure. For 2014, Rolling Thunder was taken out beforehand, which operated between 1989 and 2013. It was a classic wooden roller coaster at the theme park, and it was replaced uh, with the Q-Line experience and the official area experience of Zumanjaro Drop of Doom, a brand new Intamin drop tower located and being attached to the structure of the launch coaster Kinder Car. For 2015, the Looping Dragon slash El Diablo was later named. A Lost and Super Loop came in, which operated between 2015 when it opened, and of course it closed in 2018 before being re relocated for the 2019 season to La Ronde to operate as Chaos from then on. In 2016, the Joker, which is an SNS 40 free spin coaster, opened, replacing the old Grandstand, Festival Stage, and Fort Independence. The year after, which replaced Batman and Robin the Chiller, was the Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dart Ride from Sally Corporation. In 2018, the DC theme continued with Cyborg, Cyberspin, and ABC Torbalon attraction. And a year after, in 2019, they brought in the giant Discovery attraction, Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. Technically a Giga Discovery. And then for 2020, there was no new attractions this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So there we go. Big, big years for Six Flags Great Adventure for all ages. Thrill seekers, families, dark ride lovers. Uh, and just overall, a great sense of 10 years for Great Adventure. Now, of course, the big thing they were missing was a coaster from scratch. And of course, we were going to get one this year. But, you know... That C word, the dreaded C word. Um, but, you know, I think that overall it was a decent 10 year plan. I think it was decent. It's not the best in the world, but it is decent. But for Thrill Seekers, I definitely think that uh, this next decade could be the one. Uh, now, it starts off in 2021, and that's where we're going to go to to start our five year predictions right about now. So starting off in 2021 and the RMC single roller coaster delayed from 2020 due to COVID, uh, Jersey Devil Coaster will be coming into the park to replace the old Looney Tunes Seaport area, uh, the old retired area which, which was demolished uh, this year, uh, ready for the Jersey Devil Coaster to begin. Uh, now of course, uh, with Looney Tunes Seaport gone, I think the only the only Looney Tunes area is the Bugs Bunny National Park, and that needs a redo in my opinion. So for 2022, 
They br I think they're going to retheme and redevelop the Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. So some refurbished attractions, a couple of new attractions maybe in there as well. And I think that it's going to give that brand new modern Looney Tunes look to it. Uh, so Bugs Bunny Boomtown, I think, will come into the Bugs Bunny National Park for a retheme in 2022. So very much a family year. For the 2023 season, I think they're going to focus on the water park. Now... Um, obviously you can see on your screen Hurricane Mountain and Big Bamboo have been circled. Now the reason why I've circled both of those water slide attractions is because I think they're going to use the footprint of both to bring in Tsunami Surge Water Ghoster. Of course it's at Fiesta Texas at the minute uh, and of course it's going into Six Flags Great America next year, delayed from 2020 due to COVID, but I think that Great Adventure in 2023 could be one of the parts to get. Um, a Tsunami Surge Water Ghoster. In 2024, I think the Swashbuckler will be gone by then, and I think it's going to be replaced by a Zamperla Endeavor. So again, another family attraction there. I think it will be back-to-back -back family years. Uh, well, sort of low-key additions, should we call them, uh, in 2022 and 2023. And then 2024, I think another one. And I think that Zamperla Endeavor is a good family thrill ride to add. I think Swashbuckler's getting a bit old now. Uh, and I think replacing that with an original pirate-themed endeavour would be a great move. I mean, you could even sort of include the swashbuckler in the name. You could even, you could go with like the the iron swashbuckler or the steel swashbuckler, or swashbuckler skyflyer, um, or swashbuckle skyflyer. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Swashbuckler or swashbuckle skyflyer which wouldn't be a bad name. <laughs> uh, but I think that a pirate, original pirate-themed Endeavour replacing Swashbuckler would be a good family thrill attraction for the park. And then in 2025, I'm thinking they're going to go on the thrill ride route and they're going to replace Slingshot with a Zampala Super Air Race attraction. And I think this would lead into 2026, in my opinion. And I think 2026 is going to be the year of the next major roller coaster. Uh, and of course, we'll talk about those predictions in 2025 when we get to do the 2026 to 2030 predictions video. Uh, but I think that Super Air Race, again, Fiesta Texas is adding one of these, Daredevil Die Fly Machines. I think that that would be a good attraction for a uh, great adventure to add, a perfect thrill ride that they've been missing for a while now. And, you know, Slingshot's getting on a bit now, so I think that they need to replace that because it, it feels pretty temporary that attraction and uh, if you replace slingshot that i think a super air race would be good and you know what the funny thing is when it came to making these predictions i was kind of torn between whether to replace swatch buckler with an endeavor or a super air race and then if i went for the endeavor then slingshot would be the one replaced by a super air race i think either one could be replaced with either one swatch buckler could be replaced with a super air race and slingshot could be replaced with a zampella endeavor either one could be happening but I think that, you know, looking at all the evidence, I would rather go with a slingshot being replaced by a super air race because it's a thrill ride, with, thrill ride with a thrill ride. And Swashbuckler is more of a family ride, so I think a family ride to replace it like a Zampella Endeavour would have been a better fit. So I think that a super air race will replace slingshot in 2025. And uh, in terms of themes, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Maybe they go with that Daredevil Die Flying Machines theme again, uh, which wouldn't be a bad thing, to be honest. But, um, you know, I definitely think that it could be a possibility. So there we go. That is my next five year predictions. Now a little bit of a tease was towards those 2026 predictions for the coaster. You know that area behind the slingshot, especially if they have the super air race. Um, the area behind the, the slingshot with the, the sky coaster and the go-karts attraction. Um, if you replace both of them, and I'm just thinking off the top of my head five years uh, before I make the official prediction. Wouldn't it be good to have an uh, axis coaster in that space? And it would fit as well. You'd be able to weave it in and around that site. And you'd be able to keep it away from the super air race as well. So I think that, you know, it wouldn't be a bad attraction. An axis coaster behind is like a phase two for that redevelopment of that entire area. So the slingshot goes for the super air race the first year. Then the second phase of that year would be an axis coaster replacing the sky coaster and the go-karts. Just another prediction to think about. But... Um, it would be nice if you've got any other coaster um, locations. Put it in the comments down below. I'll save them, ready for five years to, in five years down the line uh, to make the prediction if it, it comes to that. But 
Um, it should be interesting. I mean, in terms of the next five years, I think we're looking at that particular route. I think there will be a kids refurbishment, uh, area refurbishment in the near future, in the next couple of years. I think we are going to see a new coaster at some point in this decade as well. Um, a new coaster or two, maybe two new coasters, who knows. Um, I think we are going to see a new flat ride. I think we will see at least one Hurricane Harbor edition. I think we will see one or two family rides in this decade as well. Uh, so overall, not too shabby. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this next five years video from Six Flags Great Adventure. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, I'm Coast Chow, Kit on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Shout out to Thomas Rosie Fan 2 and also Ryan Hackman for suggesting this video. And keep your suggestions coming in for the videos, guys, because I absolutely love it. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.